Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of a nose piercing bump or a keloid is what it's also known as. So before I jump into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am doing a vlog channel, sort of. Um, it's partially vlogs and then the other stuff is just like random things that happen to me or things I just wanna talk about. So if you're interested in seeing any of that stuff, I would love for you guys to check out my channel. It's just, I am Kristen. I will leave a link in the description below. I will also put it in the card up here. Now I do want to start by saying I'm no way in shape or form an expert on nose piercings or anything like that. I've just done a lot of research and I've also spoken to a couple different piercers, more specifically the one who did mine and got some instructions and some tips and things like that. And honestly I should have recorded this yesterday because my the bump on my nose is already way smaller than it was yesterday just from doing some of the things that I've been doing. So I expect this to be gone by tomorrow evening or the next day. Um, so let me show you what it looks like first and then I'll show you how I'm gonna get rid of it. So as you can see, the bump's not that big but it's definitely noticeable. There's a few reasons why this can happen. Um, again, sometimes like right when it's a new piercing, you know, this can pop up. Also, if you're using the wrong kind of metal, so you wanna really stick with like uh, 18 or 24 karat gold, um, metals you also want to do stainless steel or you can do titanium another big thing is do not touch it with your bare hands because most times your hands are dirty now if you just wash your hands really really good and then you touch it it's probably okay um, but you really want to use like a q-tip or something else to like clean it and you want to not touch it also you want to not spin it which I know exactly why this popped up because those are the two things I do all the time. I'm always poking it to push it back in or sometimes it'll get twisted around inside my nose and I'm like playing with it and I just, I forget like wash your hands then do it or whatever. And so I'm always playing with it and I love spinning it. It's like, ugh, I need like a buzzer that buzzes me and zaps me every time I try to touch my nose ring. So I know that that's probably what happened with mine is that it just got dirty and then this thing popped up because I can't stop touching it. Um, so now I'm gonna show you what, there's a couple different options, um, but I'm gonna show you the one that I use because it goes away so fast and it's the one that my piercer recommended as well. So pretty much we just need to get saline wound wash. Then you're gonna wanna grab a small container and you'll spray some of this saline in here, not very much at all, and now we're gonna heat it up. You only need this in the microwave for like five to seven seconds, like seriously no more than that at all. And then you're gonna need some like Q-tips and cotton balls and we're gonna do a warm compress. So I usually start with a Q-tip and just kinda rub it in there. And then I will, just be careful, it might be hot, and then you're just gonna go around your piercing and clean that off. You can also just kind of hold this right on top for a few seconds. Um, I usually like to use one of these little like square cotton balls or you can use gauze, um, the only, cause the only problem with this one, like especially with mine, is that these little fuzzy things can get stuck on it. So if you have gauze, use that. If you don't, just make sure that this is clean and your hands are clean while you're touching it. So then I usually fold it into like a quarter and I'm just gonna soak that in there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this over my piercing. <laughs> I sound weird, I'm pushing my nose. Um, but I'm just gonna hold that over my piercing for probably, I'm gonna keep going back and forth because it'll this will start cooling down. Um, but you wanna do this for about five minutes if you can and just kinda hold it there. If you can three times a day, uh, if you can do it more, that's great. But oh man, I wish I would have had it on video. This thing on my nose, I'm not even kidding, was twice the size. I like freaked out when I saw it. I was like, what is going on? My nose is exploding. So just in 24 hours, it's already shrunk half the size. Um, so I'm gonna try to uh, throw a clip in here so you can see what it's gonna look like over the next day or two. Um, so you can see how quickly it'll go down. The other way you can do this as well is with sea salt. Um, so make sure it's not your like table iodine salt. It needs to be like sea salt. And you can do the same thing. Just put a very small amount in the in the water and mix it around with warm water until it's completely dissolved. And then do the same thing. Um, some people will actually put their entire nose in there. I don't know if you really need to necessarily go that far. You definitely can. Um, but using the compress works just as well. The biggest thing, and I need to remember this myself, you have to keep your piercing clean. Kristen, keep it clean. Stop touching it. That's you know, I'm giving that message out to everybody else, but I need to do it too. So anyways, um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe.